Hello, and welcome to the presentation of the tool paper on Cortado, which is an interactive tool for data-driven process discovery and modeling. Before we look into the details of the tool, let's first briefly recap process mining and process discovery in general. If we look at today's execution of processes in various organizations, we will see that most of them generate event data in corresponding information systems. And these event data are the key ingredient for process mining techniques. And process mining itself consists of various techniques to extract valuable insights into processes from these event data. And the ultimate goal is always to optimize processes. Process mining in general can be roughly subdivided into three parts. Process discovery, conformance checking and process enhancement. And Cortado, the tool that we will present today, is mainly focusing on process discovery. So conventional process discovery works in the following way. We take event data as input, which captures the execution or multiple executions of our process. We feed this event data into our process discovery algorithm, which will then, in a fully automated fashion, discover or learn a process model, which we see here on the upper right side, that captures the behavior in the given event log. This is how process discovery works in most cases. And it's important to note that it really works in a fully automated fashion. That means the user has no point of interaction to guide and steer the process discovery algorithm. What we have now developed is an incremental idea to process discovery. How does that work? Starting from an initial process model and the trace, which consists of a sequence of executed process activities that is not yet in the language of our process model, an incremental process discovery algorithm will take the model and the trace, which is not fitting, and alters the process model into a process model M prime that also fits the selected trace by a user. And this process model is then now again the input in the next incremental execution where a user selects the next trace that he or she wants to incorporate into the process model, which is considered to be under construction and learned or discovered in an incremental fashion. And this idea we have integrated or implemented in a tool, which we call Cortado, which is an interactive tool for data-driven process discovery and modeling. The tool Cortado is a standalone tool, which is based on PM4Py. So PM4Py is an open source process, min process mining library, which covers a lot of fundamental and basic algorithms in the area of process mining. Cortado itself is free of charge for non-commercial academic and evaluation purposes and you can download it freely at cortado.fit.fraunhofer.de. On the website you will find an overview of the key functionality of Cortado and you can always download the latest release of Cortado from the download section. Cortado itself is built on various different um, frameworks and libraries, and the most important ones are listed here. So the graphical user interface is built mainly on back technologies. So we use Electron, Angular, and D3.js, and most of the algorithms in the background, they are written in Python. And as I said, we use their PM4Py, Fast API, and PyInstaller to wrap everything into an executable file. On this slide, you see a rough overview of the functionality offered by Cortado. So, started from an event log, a user can select process behavior from which he or she wants to discover an initial process model, which is needed for incremental process discovery as introduced before. This process model can be added at any time because we also include the process tree editor. So there's a process model editor and the user has at any point in time the chance to model or to edit the, the model manually. Having such a process model, 
The user can now again select process behavior, for example, traces that do not fit at the moment, and extend the given process model by these selected traces. And the fourth big feature is that we also implement a conformance checking functionality. That means the user can always compare the current process model with the event log to see how many traces, how many process behavior is already captured by the process model. So let's take a look into the tool itself. And this is what you see when you download Cortado from the website. So this is the initial graphical user interface once you start the tool. And please note that we already preload event data so that you can start right away playing around with the tool. The tool itself consists of three main components. The first one is the tree editor at the top where we will see a process model. The second component is a variant explorer where we see in a graphical manner our different traces that occur in our event log. And the third component is an activity overview, which gives us information on all the possible um, process activities which occur in the event log. And we see various statistics on the different activities. So for example, we see that the activity create find is a start activity and it occurs over 150,000 times in our event log. And for example, the activity appeal to judge is a uh, a potential end activity, so often the process instances end with this activity, and it occurs in total 555 times in our event log. So let's focus now on the Trace Variant Explorer. And the first row in the Trace Variant Explorer tells us, for example, that in over 56,000 times the process was executed according to the following sequence of process activities. So we started with create fine, then send fine was executed, followed by insert fine notification, add penalty, and finally the last process activity was sent for credit collection. And over 56,000 times we have seen that the process was executed according to this sequence of activities. So how does it work now? A user selects multiple variants initially that he or she would like to incorporate into an initial model. So let's say we want to have these three variants and we press discover an initial model. And we see now this initial model here at the top, which says first create find has to be executed, then send find, then insert find notification. And then we have a parallel block of a loop on payment and add penalty. So as I said, Cortado offers a process model editor. And for example, you can select now this subtree and can relocate the order within the process model. You could also, for example, click on a single activity and change the name of the activity. So for example, instead of payment, we could say that this is send fine. Of course, there are redo and undo functionality also included into the process editor. So now let's, see, let's assume this is the pro initial process model that the user wants to proceed further with. And the first thing that he can do or she can do is to press conformance check. And by pressing conformance check, we see for each trace variant if this trace variant fits or doesn't fit the model. So for example, the three Trace variants that we selected as, um, as a starting point for this uh, initial model, these three fit the model, which is indicated by this green check mark on the left hand side. And now the idea of this incremental approach comes into place. So a user now selects a trace variant which is not yet in the language of the model. For example, this trace variant is not in the language because we see that on the left hand side uh, indicated by the red cross. And the user can now say add variant to model. And what then happens is in the background that the algorithm will alter the process model in such a way that the new selected variant plus the three old selected variants are fitting the next model. So we can press again conformance check and we see 
the initially three, uh, the initially selected three variants are fitting the model plus the new one that we just selected. And this is how it works. So now again, for example, the user could manually edit the process model, could press conformance check to see how, yeah, what is the impact on conformance statistics when editing the model. And then he can or she can continue in selecting new trace variants and add this in an incremental way to the model. This is the core idea of Cortado. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope you liked the tool.